32 minutes gone then in the snow at Victoria Park. Here's Sweeney. He's done very well. Can he pick somebody out? He certainly can. Richard Jones head home. Anthony Sweeney's cross. And Hartley Fort have the leads. It's his second goal of the season. Forward it goes. Gregan should get there, but it's a really poor defensive header. Mockhouse is in and rattles Hartley Fort into a two goal lead. It's two in eight minutes at the end of this first half. But Sean Gregan won't want to see it again. His header went perfectly into the path of Andy Mockhouse. Holden were unbeaten in two coming into this game. They're desperate to get one back this afternoon. And Cries for a penalty have been turned out. And it goes to Peter Hartley. Plenty of space. So he goes some distance. Well, it would have been spectacular. Dean Brewer was never too worried. Much better in this second period from the Latics. And they've won themselves a free kick in a dangerous position. It's a yellow card for Peter Hartley. The referee had little option in fairness to him. And it's all getting... Rather silly inside the penalty area. Sean Gregan's involved. And Carl Bobson has called over Peter Hartley and has shown him a second yellow card. Hartley Port may have a two-goal lead, but they're now down to ten men with seven minutes left. Stephen with the free kick, hoping to punish Hartley Port immediately. It seemed to hit McSweeney's hand. Now what will the decision be? It's another contentious moment. Now does the referee deem that intentional? He certainly blew for a foul. It's another free kick right on the edge. Taken short this time to Whitaker. Takes a deflection and cleared for a corner. Well, credit to Oldham. They've never given up. Can they get one back? It's Pavel Abatena. Yes, they can. Two minutes remaining and it's game one at Victoria Park. The pressure has told. And Hartlepool, who were cruising until the sending off five minutes ago, have now seen their two-goal advantage cut to one. So Chris Turner's Hartlepool hold on for a victory. A perfect start for 2010 for them.